Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu is a 15th century Incan citadel located in the Andes Mountains of Peru, South America. It is situated at an elevation of 2,430 meters, 7,970 feet, above sea level and was built by the Incas in the mid-1400s as an estate for their emperor, Pacacuti. The site was abandoned around the time of the Spanish conquest of Peru in the 16th century and remained unknown to the outside world until 1911, when it was rediscovered by American archaeologist Hiram Bingham. Since then, Machu Picchu has become a popular tourist destination and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Machu Picchu is renowned for its stunning location, with its buildings and terraces built on steep mountain slopes overlooking the Urubamba River Valley. The site includes many well-preserved structures, including temples, palaces, and plazas, as well as a sophisticated irrigation system. Machu Picchu was constructed using a technique called ashlar, which involves fitting together blocks of stone without mortar. Despite being located in an area of high seismic activity, the site has withstood numerous earthquakes and is considered a remarkable feat of engineering and architecture. Visitors can reach Machu Picchu by hiking the Inca Trail or by taking a train from the nearby town of Cusco. Due to its popularity, the site is heavily regulated to preserve its fragile ecosystem and cultural significance. Cusco Cusco, also spelled Cusco, is a city in southeastern Peru, located in the Andes Mountains at an altitude of 3,399 meters. 11,152 feet above sea level. It was once the capital of the Inca Empire and is now known for its rich history and cultural heritage. Cusco is a popular destination for tourists who come to see its many historical sites, including the ruins of the Inca fortress of Sacsayhuaman, the Temple of the Sun, and the Inca Museum. The city is also a gateway to the famous Inca citadel of Machu Picchu, one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Today, Cusco is a vibrant city that blends ancient and modern influences, and it continues to be an important center for tourism, commerce, and culture in Peru. Lake Titicaca Lake Titicaca is a large, deep lake located in the Andes Mountains on the border of Peru and Bolivia. It is considered the highest navigable lake in the world, with an altitude of 3,812 meters, 12,507 feet above sea level. The lake is approximately 190 kilometers, 118 miles long and 80 kilometers, 50 miles wide, with a maximum depth of 281 meters, 922 feet. Lake Titicaca is a significant cultural and historical site, as it was the birthplace of the Inca civilization and the location of the legendary creation of the first Incas. The lake is also home to numerous indigenous communities, including the Aymara and Quechua peoples, who have lived in the area for thousands of years and have developed unique traditions and customs. The lake is a popular tourist destination, with visitors drawn to its stunning natural beauty and rich cultural heritage. Visitors can explore the many islands that dot the lake, including the famous floating islands of Arose, which are made entirely of reeds. Other popular activities include hiking, fishing, and learning about the local traditions and way of life. Calca Canyon Calca Canyon is a canyon located in southern Peru, near the city of Arequipa. It is one of the deepest canyons in the world, with a depth of 3,270 meters, 10,725 feet, at its deepest point. The canyon is formed by the Calca River, which runs through the canyon and is a popular spot for whitewater rafting. The Calca Canyon is also known for its stunning scenery including the Andean condors that can be seen flying above the canyon. These birds are some of the largest flying birds in the world and are known for their impressive wingspan, which can reach up to 3.3 meters, 10 feet. The Calca Canyon is also home to several indigenous communities, including the Calagua and Cabana cultures, who have lived in the region for thousands of years. Visitors to the canyon can explore these communities and learn about their history and traditions. Hiking is a popular activity in the Calca Canyon, with several trails offering stunning views of the canyon and its surrounding landscape. 
Visitors can also relax in the nearby hot springs or visit the town of Chivai, which is known for its colonial architecture and colorful markets. Overall, the Calca Canyon is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Peru, offering a unique blend of natural beauty, cultural heritage, and outdoor adventure. The Salt Pans of Maras the Salt Pans of Maras are a series of terraced salt evaporation ponds located in the sacred valley of the Incas, near the town of Maras in Peru. The salt pans have been in use since pre-Inca times and are still actively worked today by local families who extract the salt using traditional methods. The salt pans are fed by a natural spring that emerges from the mountainside and contains a high concentration of salt. The spring water is channeled into the salt pans where it is left to evaporate under the sun. As the water evaporates, the salt crystallizes on the surface of the ponds, creating a layer of salt that can be harvested by the workers. The salt pans are arranged in an intricate network of terraces, with each terrace containing several small pools. The pools are built with a layer of clay at the bottom, which helps to retain the salt and prevent it from mixing with the soil. The workers use traditional tools to harvest the salt, scraping the crystallized salt off the surface of the pools and transferring it to woven baskets for transport. The salt from Maras is highly prized for its purity and unique flavor, and is used in many Peruvian dishes. Visiting the salt pans of Maras is a popular activity for tourists, who can observe the traditional salt harvesting techniques and learn about the history of the site. The salt pans offer a stunning backdrop for photography, with their vibrant colors and intricate patterns. Visitors can also purchase bags of salt from the local workers as a souvenir of their visit. The Beaches of Punta Sal Punta Sal is a beautiful beach located on the north coast of Peru, near the border with Ecuador. It is known for its white sandy beaches, crystal clear waters, and stunning sunsets. Punta Sal is a popular destination for tourists looking to relax and enjoy the natural beauty of the area. The beach at Punta Sal is long and wide, with soft white sand and turquoise waters that are perfect for swimming, snorkeling, and other water activities. The area is surrounded by lush vegetation and coconut palms, creating a tropical paradise feel. Visitors can also take a boat ride along the coast to explore the nearby coves and beaches. In addition to its natural beauty, Punta Sal also offers a range of amenities for tourists including hotels, restaurants, and bars. The local cuisine features fresh seafood and other regional specialties, and visitors can enjoy a meal with a view of the ocean. Punta Sal is also a great base for exploring the surrounding area, which includes the nearby town of Mancora, known for its surf culture and nightlife. Visitors can also visit nearby nature reserves and wildlife sanctuaries, where they can see exotic birds, monkeys, and other animals. Overall, Punta Sal is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Peru who wants to experience the beauty of its beaches and enjoy a relaxing tropical vacation. Nazca Lines The Nazca Lines are a series of large geoglyphs, or designs etched into the ground, located in the Nazca Desert of southern Peru. The geoglyphs were created by removing the reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that cover the surface of the Nazca Desert and revealing the light-colored earth underneath. The designs range in complexity from simple lines and shapes to intricate, detailed figures of animals, humans, and geometric patterns. The Nazca lines were created by the Nazca culture between 500 BCE and 500 CE, and their purpose is still a matter of debate among scholars. Some theories suggest that they were used for astronomical or religious purposes, while others believe that they were created for agricultural or water management reasons. The Nazca lines were rediscovered in the 1920s, and they have been a popular tourist attraction ever since. However, their fragile nature and exposure to weather and human activity have led to concerns about their preservation. In recent years, Efforts have been made to protect the Nazca lines and the surrounding area, including restricting access to certain areas and promoting responsible tourism practices.